Yes. In the category of character animation in a television or broadcast production, the nominees are... So appreciate a moment of your royal time. Oh! <laughs> no! I'm busy, busy, busy! My royal hands are full! I'm gonna go talk to him. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, this fruit is kinda... Mm. Welcome to Maple's Seaweed Seaside Resort! This way, please. And the Annie goes to Scott Lewis for Hilda. Sorry, I need a second. Um, coming here from Ottawa, I feel like I was uh, beamed aboard a very glitzy alien spacecraft filled with uh, alarmingly attractive aliens. Um, and the one thing that's really been hammered into me being in this audience is we really can't do this alone. We need to have other people there supporting us because for, for any greatness we strive to achieve, we have to have a thousand great people behind us supporting us for it. Uh, I'd like to thank the people at Silvergate, uh, Mercury Filmworks, and Netflix for giving me the opportunity to do this great animation. Uh, I'd like to thank the other people in my category. I'm really surprised I won, actually. Um, I'd like to thank my friends and family back in Ottawa, uh, and I'd like to thank the uh, organizers of this event for helping us honor a craft that is often overlooked. So, thank you very much. <laughs> Alarmingly attractive aliens. I like All it. Right. The Annie's are looking good tonight. <laughs> All right, in the cat. In the category of Outstanding Achievement in Writing, Television, and Broadcast Production, the nominees are... What's up? Oh, wow. Oh, nice to meet you. Did we just hug? I couldn't feel anything. I mean, yeah, we definitely hugged. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I felt it a tiny bit. It was okay. The things you miss out on help you appreciate the things you're able to see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, mm-hmm. For all eternity, you're stealing that song. Oh, I guess that's one way to keep your friends forever. Okay, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, this is bad. They're not, they're not. You're kind. Okay, we got you, Wallace. <laughs> and the Annie goes to Stephanie Simpson. Hilda. Hilda. Okay, thank you, Asifa. Thank you, Luke Pearson, for letting me tell new stories in your beautiful Hildeverse. Thank you, Kurt Mueller at Silvergate. Thank you, Netflix, for letting me tell these stories. Um, we get to borrow from Scandinavian folklore at Hilda, and so we have a lot of trolls and elves and giants, you know. But basically, it's just stories of a little blue-haired girl and her friends trying to figure out what it is to be human, to be kind, to be brave. And that's what storytellers always do. That's what all the writers in my category do. Thank you for your beautiful work, and thank you for letting me be a part of this. Good night.
in the category for Best Animated Television Production for Children, the nominees are... And the Annie goes to Hilda, episode one. Didn't be I'd like to thank uh, Luke Pearson, who created Hilda, um, our director, Andy Coyle, and our head writer, Stephanie Simpson, who brought Hilda and her world to life, um, Dominique Bizet and Melissa Cobb at Netflix, who gave us the platform to tell these stories truly without compromise, um, our executive producer, Kurt Mueller at Silvergate Media, our amazing cast, Bella, Oliver, Amira, um, Daisy Rasmus, Dave Peacock, our vocal director, No Brow, the home to the Hilda Comics, and uh, Clint Chantal and Mercury Filmworks, who give me the time. And I would just like to say that um, we all share this award with so many people who um, worked on this show and made it what it was. All of the writers and animators and designers and painters and musicians. There's so many people, so on behalf of all of them, we are so grateful to get to make the show. Thank you. Such is the life of an adventurer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.